So I set up a bunch of targets. Let's take a look. Quick broad view. A new target comes up. I use this to shoot my pistol, PR-776, uh, for the gimbal pistol. I have a hard time penetrating through it, so I'm going to use that up there. Replace a new sheet in here. Okay, and I failed. I got some oatmeal, um, not oatmeal, uh, oaks, oatmeal oaks, um, and some corn, and some peanut. You can tell there's a corn right there. Okay, and there's some flakes of oatmeal right there, some peanut scattered into the cabin in there. Then I did some in the village too. Some village and then some pomegranate. Up there I filled it up. They pretty much ate half of it. You can see all the oatmeals. And here's a pomegranate and and put an apple. We have this apple in the kitchen forever. So I dig a hole and put an apple in there. That's where the rat like to hide. And the reason I moved the helmet is you can tell that property bar right there. It's in the middle. It's on the way of my helmet. So I move it. It's easier to hit this way. An apple, obviously. But that would just be a, a location, a plateau for everything else. Let me see if I can zoom in. There you go. Focus. And zoom out. I packed that truck with peanut, oatmeal, and corn and put a fruit in front of it. I just grew in the yard. There's more I chop off in the yard. The rats like to climb that tree and eat those things, so I know they like that particular fruit. I put one right in the entryway. I cut it in half. They're fresh. And I packed a truck with the corn, oatmeal, and peanut. Okay. And there's a hole up there. I stuffed the hole with a fruit. So that's the new lineup. A lot of target to hit. A lot of targets. Oh, also, there's another one right there. I stuffed the hole with the fruit. So whatever lives inside under the walkway, it will come out at night. Yesterday, when I test out first time for night vision, right when the sky turned dark, three rats just run around. They come right out, so... This time should be, shouldn't have any problem. I believe they either live right underneath this bush. There's a bunch of holes underneath it there. And you can tell on the on the mountain, there's mounts. You see there's a mount right there in the middle of the screen. And there's a few more of this everywhere on the hill. So I believe that's where the rat dig their holes and live right on this hill. So it should be fun when the light, night gets dark. The zero weighing in very good, but I'm running, I running out of the pellets. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to um, re-zero a few profiles, a few more different pellets. So the, the rat, they, they did all this, all these mounts. See those two giant mounts? There's one right here. And just basically took out the whole screen. There's another one right here. You see the color differences on the screen. I just live there. I should be able to eliminate all the rats within a week or two. This will be fun with the night visions. Okay, this is the night hunt. Currently, we have the truck filled with nuts, we have a fruit right there, and we have a new target board for practice, where we need to zero in anything, okay, and we switch around, no rats right now at the moment, they haven't come out, but we have a another truck that could be behind it, we don't see any movement at the moment. And we have the rat hole right there. Oh, rat is out. Rat is out. Rat is out. Rat hole. I came out the rat hole. It's a giant rat. Now we have the wrench finder. We need to see where the rats went. Where did it went? Okay. So we saw the rat. That was one huge rat. Okay. Out the hole. That's where the peanut is. Don't know where the rat went at the moment.
adjustment. We add a 3x zoom. Oh, let's wait a bit. Let's go ahead and dial in at 19 yards for the ballistic. The gun's cocked and ready for the hit. And it looks like it's clear and free. We just need to wait for the rat to come out again. There. Oh, it's quick. This, this little guy's quick. The question is, can the rat see? Can the rat see the infrared? I don't believe the rat can see the infrared. I don't believe so. This is a um, ATM 4 by 13. Uh, 4 times 4 and 13. See if we can catch this rat. See if we can catch it. I have a ballistic calculation in. Let's do one more ballistic. 19 yards. Okay, the ballistic laser has calculated in. If that rat shows up again, we will hit it. I don't believe the rat can hear me talking. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's running around. It's running around. It's eating behind the tree. So, let's get a few minutes. It's a clever little guy. Runs very really quick. I changed the radical to this because I like this better. It feels more like a video game. Look how fast that guy is. Comes in and comes out. Just hiding right behind the tree. Let me see, turn the IR off. Look at that. Look at that speed. It's grabbing and go, grabbing and go. Next time it comes, maybe we'll hit it. Okay. It's going very fast. It's ready for it. It's a quick little guy. He knows. Season left for them. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Turning around. Whoa. Certainly, oh my goodness. Someone opens. Whoa. Oh, whoa. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Missed it. Reaction too slow. Is he gonna come back? I won't. He might. That was a missed shot. The rat live in this tree, I believe. What is that thing? Right there. Is that a rat? Or what is that? It's not moving. It's 
definitely not moving. Could be just an illusion. There's definitely something there. Can you guys tell what that is? It has to move. It doesn't even move. I wish I had a thermal and that thing would light up. So I don't believe that was that's anything. I don't believe that's anything. So I'm going to record this footage. This footage is basically with no IR uh, torch on. It's just regular security camera IR light sliding off the backyard. This way I won't draw a giant red dot in front of the animal, especially if the rat can see it. And I remove the camouflage from the stand so it doesn't have that noise. Keep going. I'm off. See, this is where the security camera turns off and then we'll turn back on again. Okay. I'm not hearing any noise. Maybe I'll come back an hour later. But currently, the only footage we got was from the rat earlier going from this point to this point. Uh-oh, you're not far, you're not close to They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Let's get out! Oh, what a monster jam by the Andre Jordan! It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Probably a second hit. That's a very big rat. Let's give one more hit. Laser. 14 yards. Right there. In the head. Right in the head. I believe this is a full dead. Going up.
It is the morning. And let's take a look. Looks like we still got a little bit of peanut. Most of the peanut in the bed has disappeared. The dead rat cac cacus is still there. The hole looked like a they got a little bigger. The fruit's still there. The peanut's still there. The peanut in the cap is still there, but in the bed it's disappeared. What about this one? The peanut there still. And half of the truck peanut has been taken. And we'll see the rat we got yesterday. And identified as a roof rat because the brown color and the extreme long tail and the big ears. So we have to pick this rat up, bring up the hill, bring all the way up the hill for the eagles to eat it. That's all I'm gonna do now. It looks like a roof rat, a full fledged roof rat. It's pretty big, about six, seven inches long, maybe eight inches long. And it got a hair on the tail, on its tail. Now I gotta move this thing up there. Looks like it took all the peanut off the truck and all the peanut in this truck. We left all the peanuts here. All the peanut there is gone. Half the peanut in here. So we're gonna replenish the peanut. Okay, let's do that. Before I go anywhere, all the peanut there is fine. Nobody eat the fruit. There's two more rats I saw the other day. Three total. I'm contemplating to shove this rat back in the hole or put it out there. Maybe I'll put it out there. It's better. Okay, let's do that.